Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where I am going to gift some pranks. Um. Okay. Uh, an uncrushable pigeon, and maybe then do the pet rock. Right, we have to name it. Herbert is great. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. <laughs> hey! It speaks. Uh... Its journeys are fascinating. I had thought its chances slim, but perhaps I'm even wrong on that point. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason. Oh, the... No doubt. <gasps> so is that it? It speaks. Um, I, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I guess. I... I don't know. Maybe I'll be playing too far ahead to worry about it, but, uh... We'll see. I mean, the the wiki or whatever was like, yeah, sometimes they, I mean, it does this, and it's helpful in this way, and whatever, but. I don't know. So. I kind of want to see what, um. Nope. Okay. Enchantment? I, I, it looked like um, the Alistair doll would be funny. It's supposed to be for... I think it's supposed to be for Morrigan. Interesting. Well, well, where well, like, cause last time I gave Shale the pet rock, he was like, she was like super excited about it. What comes, my friend? <sighs> All right, I'm just gonna wait. Maybe you guys can tell me, cause the wikis weren't telling me really what I wanted to know. Like when, like how and when to give the gifts. Or the pranks and the gifts, you know? I mean, it makes sense to give the pranks first and then the gift. So that way you're basically back at zero. And maybe I maybe somebody already told me ages ago, but... Because I do remember someone telling me to make sure to give the pranks first. And the... the that the... Uh, the big gifts are just fun to kind of make everybody fall in love with you and mess with them. But, um, yeah. But we are gonna run up to. Indeed. We're gonna run over to the. Yes. Place. And do the thing. Let's bring out the original guys for a while. We're gonna run over here really quick and drop stuff off, and then we will carry on. I want to go back to Orzammar. I want to do the Topsiders thing. And I want to do... The Fade thing. And... Oh yeah, and I wanted to mess with the leveling up of things. Well, let's put... Um... I'm going to keep those with me. Put that away. Store... Store that. Oh my gosh, the Saw Sword became Dragon Bone! Whoa! Wow, it's got three. Wow, so it's true. All right then. Wow. Yep, that happens. Okie dokie then. Wow. Asala needs to become higher level because then I can. 
do cool stuff. Okay, I'll stash that. Trian's Maul. Faith's Edge. Oh, let's store the bolts. I don't need the bolts. Yeah, I'll keep all the dang nab arrows. Store Ruck Shield. Bronca's. Oh, I, did I not sell that? I should sell that. Uh, Bronca's Shield. I'll store the staff. Um, what do you do? Uh, well, I'll, I'll just store both of you for now. And I'll store that, because why not? And then, we will store the Warden Commander stuff. I'll store that. I'll store that. Chevalier's boots, warden commander. Store the heavy plate armor. I like what he's got, my puppy's got on, so I don't think I'm gonna change that anytime soon. I'm like worried to put it in though, because I heard that sometimes it can make things go down in level. So I'm like worried about putting in my dragon bone stuff. I mean, I've got 60 spaces now, you know? Dwarven Massive Armor, Dwarven Massive Armor Boots. How come those are red steel? I don't know. Um, well, let's store that for now, and that, and we'll put those in there for now. Oh, and I can. I can put the book. I'll keep the key, because that's kind of worrying, you know, and then I'm sure I've already used it, but just in case. Okay, and then I will attempt to do the selling thing. We'll see if it works. Uh, I'll do a new save just in case. Village of Haven. It's been a while since we've been there. Um, what do I want to give him? What do I want to give him? What do I, I mean, what I have on right now is silverite. So I could, I mean, I could attempt... Maybe, I mean, I think, I think you can own tier 7 is the highest you can go. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll try selling him the gloves. Maybe that'll work. Was the dragon bone really tier? Or the armor of the legion dragon bone always? Got cool stuff. Um, well, okay, since... Let's... Okay, I'll take those off. Maybe I'll wander around barefoot. Okay. Warden? Uh... Weaponsmith? Indeed. Yep. I learned up. Give me the finest metals and materials, and I can make can wonders for you. Wares? Okay, I'm going to attempt... To sell him my boots where is it Mer. where where did i put my boots where are they okay and then i can go it didn't change do i have to warden you see your wares Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work. It said it was only on, like, some things, too. Hmm. Okay. Well...
Well then, never mind for now. I, well, I, I looked like somebody told me some of me in the comments how to do it, and then I, the wiki was saying that it only worked on some items, like Kalen's stuff. I guess I could try selling him my, my shield. I have Kalen's shield. Um. Oh, in my I forgot I have uh. Forgot the other people's stuff too. Unequip Kalen's shield, and I will attempt to send Warden. it to you. Oh wait, where it's in weapon. So. Um. Warden. Yo. Oh my goodness gracious, it worked. Okay, I'll take it back. Um can I wear it still? I can. Uh, how did it, I don't, actually don't know how, I don't know if it went up at all, but it's tier 7, cool! Yay! So, it does only work on some items, so that's cool. I mean, it's cool that it does that. Um, yeah, wow. I guess I could do that with, uh, I worry about Alistair's armor. Like, if I... Um, oh, would it work on Duncan's sword? We'll try maybe Duncan's sword. It's gonna be this expensive all the time, though. Sorry, you're gonna be naked for a bit. Don't even worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. <laughs> We'll sell him Kaylin's helm. I do, let's see, uh, the Duncan's sword. Kaylin's gauntlets. Kaylin's greave and Kaylin's breastplate. Okay. <laughs> He's just walking around in the snow. Um, wow, okay, so Duncan's sword didn't work, but the... I don't think it got any better, though, is the thing. Oh, shoot. Well, let's, hang on, um, breastplate. Uh, 20, okay, let's, we'll reload really quick. Okay, I'll try his breastplate first. That's pretty cool. That's pretty weird. Like, a weird thing to have. Is that Was that, like, intentional? Or is that, like, a glitch? <laughs> I think the chest was a glitch. I saw on a forum that it was, like... It's not actually a storage chest. It's just a an unnamed vendor basically like a vendor that you can buy things and give things like doesn't cost anything to give him or take them so and vendors stuff will uh, will just kind of start it will start leveling up as you start leveling up or just kind of does it on its own so that I was like oh okay if that's the case that's interesting oh wrong thing um Alistair let's see Alistair we'll try Kaylin's breastplate you can walk around in that, okay? Um. Warden. Wait, wait, wait. Shoot. Um. Shoot. I gotta check. I gotta look at it. Stop walking me. Okay. Uh, wait. No. Wait. Armor. Kaylin. Oh, it did go up. 
armor is 15, fatigue is 25. The bonuses didn't change, but the armor did, I think. Warden. No. I'm going to sell you. Warden. Okay. okay. Wow. Um, yeah. Sure. We'll upgrade. At least we'll put his breastplate on, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to worry about the rest of it. Well, let's see. Does it change the color? Where is he at? Where is he at? Um, uh, I don't think it does. It's still gold. Um, okay, well, but did the fatigue, the fatigue did go up just a little bit, not too much, so that's nice. It's kind of expensive to do that for everything, though, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And it, I think it's only, like, special, unique armors that it works on. And, um, it didn't work on the Duncan sword. I wonder if it worked on a staff. Alright. Um. That's cool, though. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. I like that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll head to Orzammar. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, and, uh, Ogren wanted his companion quest to be done. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really want to get the lands meet started today, or done, or whatever. I'm really, I'm getting anxious on that point, but I want to see if Alistair and Morgan will chat. Wait, no, this way. Okay. There is one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. Uh -huh. About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Kaelin perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. I didn't say it was a good plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me look. Uh, oh, I wanted to unmark. Uh, where am I at on this? Basically, uh, I have to go, I've gathered the army and the lands meet will soon be called. So basically all I have to do is go talk to the Arl at this point and I start things. So, it's probably a bad time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I, I want, I'm kinda, I don't know, I'm feeling, feeling kinda anxious about it, I'm just... I want to go do it. I know some quests will be cut off. Hopefully, Ogren's won't. Or maybe, um, maybe, we, maybe we'll go do Ogren's quest really quick. I'll call the episode and then we'll start the lands meet. Um, I know not a lot happened, <laughs> but like there are. I I, I want to do the fade thing and I want to do the topsiders uh thing because he's like this elf who like came like topsiders honor and he like. I don't know if he was a Grey Warden or not. I don't think he was, but he he was, like, wanting to come down to help the dwarves, the Legion of the Dead, after the Blight or something. For the love of Oh, wait. Ah. I should pray. I got it. Wait, no. I think we'll see. We'll see how. We'll see. I don't know if I can summon him while I'm there at the inn. 
at Lake Callanhad. Oh, I can summon here. Okay. So I will take away my puppy. Uh. Auburn. Um. Sure. Yeah, why not? We'll just do this. And then... I think he wanted to go to... Let me check. He wanted to go to... Near Callanhead. Right. Okay. Oh, no. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Uh, she worked at the inn, I guess? So we'll go over here. The late Callan had docks, maybe? Let's go! Let's take out whatever's after us. Right, that. My bad guy. Oh, I do need to go buy, uh... I should probably go buy the Brazilian forest and buy a bunch of elf root. Because I am basically out. Oh, death root. I can give those to the elves. Ogren, we are here. Oh, I guess I can see if the, how this guy's doing after my whole fiasco with uh, Jenny. There she whoa, is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back what? me up. What me? Here. Got it. She's not a Genlock. Um, no, of course. I got your back. <laughs> Thanks, I got Warden. your back, man. Uh, maybe I should go talk to her first? Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill. And oh then my I'll gosh. go sweep her off her feet. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, Charm. Oh, oh, okay, he approves. I, you are the, are you the one or no? You the one. Oh, Felsi, yes. What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. Well, why all the liquor shortages? Have you seen how desperate people are now? They just want a drink to forget what's happened. Some ran out of coin and started paying in food, chickens, whatever they had. Felsy! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! Um, so are you seeing anyone? Um... Your name's Felsi? Aye. Who wants to know? Uh, are you gonna stay here with the Darkspawn coming? <laughs> I'm from Orzammar. Darkspawn attacks are like spring breezes there. I'll stay as long as the tavern's open. Uh, couldn't you make more money if you worked in Denerim? The dwarves in Denerim are as bad as the ones back in Orzammar. They're all alliances and rank and money, always worried about their reputations. You know how boring that is? Yeah. I'd rather go drinking with a deep stalker than any of the men in dinner. I like her. Felsy, the tables, girl. The ain't cleaning themselves. She's a woman, not a girl. I told you, I've got a customer. Um, you don't happen to know a fella named Ogren, do you? Ugh, did you have to bring his name up? I just uh -huh. ate. You're not exactly a fan of his, then? You could say that. You could also say I would rather kiss a deep stalker on the lips than see him again. Uh, what happened to you? What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met I Ogren? think you could do better than drunk. Ogren. Drunker than usual, even. Took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. Oh, he boy. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for a half an hour before someone pulled it off him. How did he lose to a piece of meat? It was a sodding good roast. Ah! Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! All right. I've got to get back to work. I got work to do. Hey. I don't need to think about that sodding waste. Uh, well, here he is. Well, what does she say? <laughs> she she hasn't exactly forgiven you for the Nug incident. Ah, that fight was rigged. Anyway, the guards said it wasn't worth pressing charges. So she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? She thinks all the surface dwarf men are boring. Well, of course. They're merchants. Maybe craftsmen. None of them compare to a real warrior. Go get her! Just be ready to pry her off when she yep. throws herself at me. I'm gonna have to defend you. We don't you. want to make a scene here. Well, don't 
Pryor off me too soon. I mean, a little Good seems luck, all buddy. Right. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a baker? Because oh, you no. got a sodding nice set of buns. <laughs> That's well, look not what the, the nug dragged read. in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood by the stench. Well, what are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Uh... uh <laughs> just watch. Well, someone's <laughs> gotta do it, you know? <laughs> Can't leave a blight to the humans. They'll just muck it all up. A whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... Um, he was looking for you, actually. You know, I was thinking about our days together back in Orzammar. <laughs> oh, so you mean you didn't find another girl willing to put up with you pissing on the table? I'm shocked. <laughs> it's a sign of affection. Uh-huh. Tell her you've been thinking of her. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Agra? Yeah, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe uh, that'll grease up the Bronto, if you know what oh I mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. <laughs> um... Admit it, Ogren is much more fun than the men around here. If by fun, you mean more likely to light farts on fire? Yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Actually, who am I kidding? Go ahead and let it. Indulge yourself. Uh, okay. So... What does that mean? We completed it. I got... What? More? What? Oh, what? I don't know. Oh, I read, I read these while we were, were sitting around earlier, but it must have not... I didn't save... Complete a quest. Companions. Uh. Well, that's not very nice. Uh. Now I gotta load. Okay, I'll play the. Alright, fine. 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 I like her. She's a straight up honest girl like she's cool she's got fire you know i don't want to be like oh augrin is the greatest thing hopefully she'll see through me and just think it's funny i guess i don't know she could do better but i i gotta back augrin up okay sorry puppy dog you don't want to see this i promise uh -huh. augrin kind of is a nasty piece of work i mean Sure, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He is. It's just, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah. He's kind of gross. Kind of a gross guy. Really. So. She could do way better than him. I've seen... Uh, some of, was it the guy who was in charge of the expeditions? He was a nice dwarf. And he was a big, manly, strong guy. And soft-spoken, but... Do where he stood and there she is. Was confident. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me uh, up here. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Let's Warden. Go. Maybe I should talk to her first. Find out that. Yeah. Okay. Hi. What can I get for you? And like her. Hey, Felsi. Okay. I've got a customer. Uh, your name's Felsi. Hi. Who wants to know? Uh, you gonna stay here? <laughs> I'm from Orzammar. Dark. Uh, I'd rather go. Felsi. I told you, I've got a customer. Uh, you don't happen to know a fellow. Oh, did you have to bring his name up? I just ate. Not exactly a fan. You could say that. What happened? What happened? He got, he lost, by the way. The roast, it was a fallacy. All right, I've got. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Nope. Something on your mind? Nope. Well, what did she say? Hasn't forgiven you. Nah. Did she say anything? Service well, men are all boring. Are you sure? Well, uh -huh. what are you doing? Uh, just... You're fighting Darkspawn? All right. Well... It was a bit of pain, but... Uh, it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? 
a whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... Okay, should I whisper to him, or say he was looking? I'll tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. <laughs> it's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. You just figure that out now? <laughs> You've oh, seen what passes nice. for dwarves okay, up okay. here. You don't think that's a joke? I'll give you that. Okay, okay. Tell her you've been thinking of her. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Nothing. Just thought I'd see. Well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar uh, for the Bronto. Uh, admit it, Ogren. Oh, should we try that? Oh, or we lie? We can't waste time here, the queen. Oh, the queen needed a new fool, did okay. she? Okay. Oh, well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. <laughs> well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. <laughs> you hurt its feelings. It might just turn the whole blight around and go home. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me See, a she just wants something. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nug dropping. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled. You frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Oh, yay! Okay, at least they can be fun. You know, like they don't have to like be lovers or anything, but. Oh, after learning about what happened with Bronca back in Orzammar, Felsa seems willing to forgive Augur, and perhaps they'll start talking again. Well, how does she know, how does she figure out what happened? Come on back sometime, I'll find you the good ale. Well, the brown watery stuff that we call the good ale, anyway. <laughs> I oh, still got boy. It. Wait, was that a success? Are you sure? Weren't you watching? <laughs> she could barely restrain herself. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Um, let's go. Hi. All right, then. All right. Well, that's good. At least, like, you know, it doesn't necessarily, like, she has to be like, I love you, but I do think, like, he's probably, he's maybe a breath of fresh air, like, people treating her weird because she's a dwarf and the surface dwarves being all weird, and he's never been very traditional, so, you know, it's like... He's something different, at least. You know what I mean? Like, something interesting going on and, and something maybe a little bit of a reminder of home. It's always... Even if you aren't exactly fond of home, it's kind of like, oh, hey, like, somebody who knew me and I know and, like, we we have this this thing because we know what each other's kind of been through a bit. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go eat something and then we're going to start the lands meet. And I'm sorry if it's a bit too soon and if we're going to cut some things off, but I just... I just need, I just, I don't know, I feel really anxious, like, I really want to do it, I really want to get it done. Um, hopefully we can still do some of the other things, but it's getting to that point, you know how you get to a point in a really long game where you're like, man, I just really freaking, oh yeah, I just want to, like, see how it all ends, you know, so, and how it all comes together, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but thank you guys for your help and for watching and for everything. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.